I'm excited about all this good food that I got. I'm so excited. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome and welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tiffany. I am a full-time mental health and substance abuse therapist bringing food, lifestyle, mental health content. I am um, pulling up to Whole Foods because I got a craving for like a beet salad. I want a roasted beet salad. And I got that craving because I was looking at a menu um, for a restaurant that my friends and I are going to tomorrow and they had a roasted beet salad. And that reminded me that I've made that before and I really want one now. So I'm gonna Whole Foods because they're gonna have beets and um, I'm gonna get a few other items that are on sale. If you don't know, I love coming to Whole Foods. Hold on, let me back in. Okay, if you don't know this already, I love coming to Whole Foods for their specialty items, especially to um, walk up and down the aisles to see what is on sale. Um, hopefully you all have Amazon Prime and if you shop at Whole Foods, you have downloaded the app so that you can get that extra 10% off. So I'm gonna shop at Whole Foods, um, grab some beets, and of course walk out with some extra stuff that's on sale, all right? I will catch y'all in the store. It has been so ugly here these last few days since last week due to the hurricane. But I got to wear some boots this week, so that's a positive. They got kombucha on sale, so I have to grab some of that. This flavor sounds amazing. So I'm gonna grab two bottles of this. And as you can see, I have my beets. I have golden beets and then some regular red beets. This is gonna look so beautiful on a salad. I love Whole Foods salmon burgers. They're so big and thick. You see the width of those? These are frozen, but I usually just get them from the seafood counter and they're fresh. And they also have these that have like some herbs and stuff in it too. They haven't had a sale on my favorite soap in all of the world in ages. It is a black owned brand. It's called Good Soap. It's by that brand Alafia. And you see the different scents and stuff that they have. I mean, it's just too good too too good oh is this a new scent pacific citrus i'm not used to seeing that one but yeah 2.99 a bar is pretty expensive so i try to only get it when it's on sale this is what i want right here these nuggets are actually really good i just um cook them in my toaster oven and then throw them on top of a salad it makes for a easy weeknight dinner if Dave's Killer Bread is on sale, you best believe I'm buying it. I think I want to go ahead and try the raisin one because I've never bought this one before. I like buying these English muffins as well. So, you know what? I'm not going to get the muffins this time because I went ahead and grabbed the bagels. And I don't want to spend too, too much money. Do we need snacks? No, but am I going to come down this aisle to see what's on sale? Of course, of course I am. Let's see. I don't see anything that I absolutely have to have, but these are my faves. Whenever these go on sale, I always cop like two bags. My Whole Foods has a beautiful olive bar. I used to buy the olives from here all the time. I haven't bought any lately, but you know what? I have a bunch of charcuterie ingredients at home, so I probably should get some. These are my favorites. Yum, yum, yum. want to see if they have my favorite brand of vegan cream cheese on sale. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This is my favorite brand. It's really good. But they do have some of my favorite decadent yogurts on sale. Let me show you. I had this for the first time in Seattle. 
and it is made in Seattle. So I'm going to get like five of these. Okay, so Mary and Berry, I think is blueberry and blackberry mixed together. I grabbed a mango. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get an extra mango and put one of these um, passion fruits back because the seeds, having to spit those out, get on my nerves. So those are my three flavors. I spy a really good sale. They have dragon fruit smoothie packs for $4.49 and then they have some passion fruit for $3.14. Look at these major markdowns. Get two of these for some smoothie bowls. What's funny is I just watched a documentary that was talking about how difficult it was to um, to harvest and make pitaya because pitaya is a type of dragon fruit that is only grown in Mexico and it's super expensive and acai is super expensive because once you pluck it off the tree, you literally have 24 hours to get it to the customer. This is the regular kombucha section. So I grabbed, oh, I got the last one. <laughs> I grabbed a berry lemonade flavor since I grabbed the passion fruit and tangerine. Is the name of this vlog passion fruit? So I got the passion fruit kombucha, a passion fruit, no, that's mango. I got a passion fruit yogurt. And then this frozen passion fruit. Okay, girl. Ooh, new flavor. Okay, I have to get this. Ooh, this guava one is good too. What is this, strawberry glow? What? Hold on, and this is a new flavor too. I've never seen this bottle. Citrus Immune Boost. Strawberry glow is kinda doing it for me though. It says it has biotin and bamboo extract. Hmm, I am intrigued. I should probably get two of those because between Bay and I, we're probably really gonna like it. Okay, now let's see what's on sale in the vegan little meat section. I don't think I want anything from out of here. Let's go round. I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass. If I buy anything vegan this week, um, it'll just end up being some of those quinoa burgers from Aldi. Lastly, I wanna see if these matchas are on sale and lo and behold, they are. My husband loves these. Um, he says that they're really good. If you like the Starbucks green tea latte, then this is a good comp. I just want you to know that it's only 11 ounces though. And this is the price, that's the full price. Oops, this is the sale price, that's the full price. This brand does have other things. So you see this almond latte, vanilla almond latte, cacao, golden chai tea latte. I like these warm. I've never tried this one, but I make my own um, warm from scratch. And then they have a Thai tea almond latte. So all of these are um, plant-based. You can see that there with no refined sugar. They use dates for their sweetener. I wanna make some roasted butternut squash. I've never checked to see if Whole Foods has fresh butternut squash but my Wegmans does, so ugh, if push comes to shove, I'm gonna have to go to a third grocery store and go grab some from there because I already know that they carry it every single fall. And I like to buy it already chopped up because ain't nobody got time to be digging in that joint. Oh yeah, they got some, but they tripping on this price. Ain't no way. I could get a big thing of this from Wegmans for like that price. And then the organic one, $6.99. Who's paying that? I need to go there anyway because I like Wegmans price for their kale and I don't like the price here. It's too much. It's too much. May I try the garlic one, please? My friend always talks about them. Huh? I don't know what this lady is saying, y'all. I just want to try these garlic ones. Thank you. Yeah, Whole Foods had just about all 
of my favorite items on sale today. Plus, I discovered a new item that I would like to start checking for um, there. So I was very excited about that frozen passion fruit because I have been hooked on smoothie bowls since Puerto Rico. And I'm so happy. It's so funny. I find like things in Whole Foods that I've experienced in other countries. So like I got the ingredients for my smoothie bowl, thanks to us having them like every day in Puerto Rico. And then they had um, the yogurt that I really enjoyed in Seattle. So I was able to grab some of those. That was exciting. They had kombucha on sale and different flavors. I'm excited about all this good food that I got. I'm so excited. This weekend, I really need to make a charcuterie tray because I bought those ingredients maybe like one to two weeks ago, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy extra stuff to add onto the tray. I think I need just like one more spread, you know, like a sweetener spread for the crackers. And then I'll go from there. Y'all see the sun is out now. This is exciting. So that is all that I have for this video. I will catch y'all in the next one. Until next time, bye. I hope you enjoyed this Whole Foods haul.